Welcome. If you're a new viewer here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today. Ants man shot dead in his yard. Bodies of elderly couple found with gunshot wounds. Stephen killed. Santina charged and more. The bodies of a 68-year-old man and a 53-year-old woman were found in St. Thomas on Thursday. The two have been identified as Owen Francis, otherwise called Ross and Doris Boyd, affectionately known as Nana B. Reports are that about 2.30 p.m., police were called to an area close to the Three Finger Jack Monument in 11 miles where the bodies of two people were found close to their roadside stack with gunshot wounds. Sources report that the bodies were discovered by a friend who went to visit the couple. Detectives assigned to the Clarendon police have arrested and charged a 15-year-old for the fatal stabbing of another 15-year-old. The deceased has been identified as Shaquille Wint, otherwise called Keeley, a student of Otwater Lane, Rocky Point, Clarendon. Reports on the Maypen police are that on Friday, March 8, at about 4 p.m., a dispute developed between the two juveniles, during which Wint was stabbed in the chest. He was taken to the hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. A file was prepared and submitted to the Director of Public Persecution Office for the ruling and new development led to the juvenile being charged with murder. His court date is being finalized. Viewers and subscribers, in this scenario, I really need to hear what are your thoughts. More want to hear it down below in the comment section. Because I realize eh, the kids has been fighting out of the norm since lately. And not just that, in most of these incidents, they are using weapons. I have been receiving videos of these juveniles fighting since lately till it just coming like they are the norm to me. You can see them fighting in the streets whether them in a them uniform or not at the bus stops, at schools and everybody have them knife, everybody have them scissors and owner have it, a send threat and I tell you say, just while I'm a little bit man, me a go for my knife and me a go for my scissors and me so come. And even in a video, me hear a child went to the extent telling a next one that, no worry yourself, me so come, me a go for my gun. If you feel like a joke, me a make, watch ya. Like, excuse me, you a go for your what? And people, when you hear them talk them way, they know, me a beg on you don't take it light, you know, because they can be exposed to criminal activities and them see them look at uncle or them brother put on that right there so and i'm on this them around and them feel like say no man not for this me no come and say no man of this my family them my yard you know and them go for the weapon just for prove a point so don't take them lightly chances are they know where to find one and to me this is becoming a major problem i don't know how to make the pit them so hungry if the adults them are follow or what but as i said earlier i feel like this is a problem or we need to get to the bottom of very soon see it reach this stage where they might take them each other three points it's like the fifth child now die from the hands of an next student obviously nobody no one learn from nobody else mistake they more have to do it themselves but this is my big take on it me honestly believe say once you do the crime you have to do the time and nobody come pretty to because you're underage because they know exactly what they are doing and them know what can become the aftermath but guess what them do it regardless because they might try to prove a point them want to be praised as the bravest and the baddest at that young age so uh Ono go on a face on the time now and put them on hard labor too. Yeah, man. But people, in a look at clippings, I'm showing what look at boy I talk about him. I go for him, pie pie. If you're interested for see the full video, because I don't know, I'm not going to play the full video over yes, sir. Just go down below in the description. If you wonder what happened in the video, it's like him and one next to you to fight. Him get an injury between him shoulder him and some right there so and him decide say, you know, say this naga so me I go for my thing around so and come back. That is what basically happened. But as I say, don't always take them lightly. If you're interested, if you see the full unedited version of the video, go down below in the description. Click the link on see down there and the video will be provided right this so. If you don't know how to go down in the description but you're interested to see it, just run on over to our Instagram page at Chop City TV. That is C H O P C I T Y underscore TV. Send us a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. We're gonna move on because I don't know we have other things for talk about, right? 
An 18-year-old woman was charged with the murder in connection to a deadly shooting of a Jamaican man outside a donut shop in Bronx, New York last month. An 18-year-old woman who was charged with murder in connection to a deadly shooting of a Jamaican man outside a donut shop in Bronx, New York last month. Santina Rodriguez, who allegedly accused 24-year-old Stephen Stewart of standing too close to her inside a donut shop, was charged with murder on Monday. Police are continuing their search for the woman's boyfriend, who they believe carried out the shooting on Friday, March 18. According to New York News, Santina allegedly accused Stuart of standing too close to her and disrespecting her. He and his friend then left the donut shop. Further reports are that the woman called her boyfriend. He then shot down Stuart and shortly after, he shot the Jamaican after they briefly exchanged words. Relatives said Stuart had moved to Bronx three months ago from Jamaica. He leaves behind his mother and two sisters in the island and he was working at a restaurant to support them up to the time of his death. More often know who is Santina for this side, says Stuart is standing too close. Like, if you don't want nobody to stand up close to you, you're not supposed to be in a public space. Stay home. Stay in your own private space and then you will get to determine who and who should be standing close to you. Like, this really doesn't make no sense, you know? And then she's going to make up an allegation against the man by calling her boyfriend telling him that the guy disrespected her i guess because him stand up close to you you classify that as disrespect this kind of give off a little r vibe for who get it who not get it left it young lady santina i wish you're rotten behind bars who don't need for left black people alone Stop walking and pick upon each and every black man. It no fear. We're tired of one. And as it relates to your boyfriend, long run, short catch. I could see how long him can run for now. Just imagine you left Jamaica, gone to foreign, just for make things better for you and your family. And in the space of three months, them take you off of the map. Just like that. All because you go outside for go buy one donut. It's sad, man. I'm just hoping family find peace very soon. We know it's a go hard because they never deserve it, but I hope we find it as soon as possible. It has been reported that a Rasta man who goes by the name of Ansman was shot and killed in a yard and Petra closed Manly Meadows. Reports indicate that two men walk up in the people's yard posing as customers because they have one little stall thing in the yard and just slap with a Rasta and walk out back. Which one? The rest of uh, the rest of uh, the rest of 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 we have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out to stay blessed and stay safe.